Kinematics is the geometry of motion. To simplify the motion of a pointer finger, the three finger bones are modeled as narrow cylinders. The two joints are modeled as small spheres, each 0.1 centimeters in di diameter. So they show that this right over here, and rotating from the center. The finger is mapped on a Cartesian coordinate plane. So here's kind of the first joint of the pointer finger. And while I'm doing this, I'm actually looking at the side of my left pointer finger, and it's pointing straight up. And this is what it looks like, although my the top part, this top section right over here is much longer for me. It's much closer to this middle section. But anyway, let's see what they have to say. They say the first finger bone is 2.4 centimeters long, which actually looks about right for mine as well. The, f the middle finger bone is 2 thirds the length of the first. So that's this length right over here. And 2 thirds of 2.4 is going to be, what, 1.6. So this distance right over here, so we do that in a color we can actually see. This distance right over here is 2.4 centimeters. This distance right over here is 2 thirds of that, so that's 1.6 centimeters. And the top finger bone is 1 third the length of the first, which does seem short, but I'll just go with their numbers. So 1 third of 2.4, this is 0 0.8 centimeters. Everything we're doing is in centimeters. The center of the tip of the finger goes from open at 0 0.5, so that point right over there, to a closed fist. So when the fist is closed, and I'm looking at my hand doing it right over here, the finger will look something like this, the pointer finger. And so the tip goes to x comma y. They want us to figure out the x coordinate, the x coordinate of x comma y. So maybe we don't even have to worry about the y coordinate. So let me, let me draw this a little bit larger just so that we can make sense of it. So you have this first section of the finger. It's 2.4. So this is 2.4 centimeters. And it's completely, it's completely horizontal. Try to draw it as large as I can so that we can make sense of all of this. So that right over there is 2.4 centimeters. And then it hits this joint. This joint has a radius, or it has a diameter of 0.1 centimeters. 0.1 centimeters. So its radius, its radius right over there is 0. Point, is 0 0.05 centimeters. So the entire length of this section you see here is 2.45. So this point right over here is at this point right over here is at 2.45 comma 0. Then you have the next section which has a length of 1.6 centimeters and they tell us this is a 45 degree angle. So this right over here this right over here is 1.6 centimeters 1.6 centimeters and of course you have that 0 0.05 radius again. So this entire length is going to be 1.65. But then we have another joint here, which we can't forget about. We have this joint right over here. So let's draw that. So you have this joint right over here. Draw it, it has a diameter of 0.1 centimeters. And I'm drawing it, I'm, not, I'm definitely not drawing this joint to scale. I'm just trying to make sure we pay attention to the joint. So let me draw a little bit better, something like this. And once again, we have another 0 0.5. So this entire length, if we were to go from this center to that center, that entire length is going to be 1.6 plus these two radii, which add up to one diameter, which is going to be, so it's going to be plus 0 0.1, which is equal to 1.7 centimeters. So this entire side is 1.7 centimeters. This entire side, is 2.45, so plus 0 0.05 is equal to 2.45. And then finally, this last section, we have, we have a right angle here. They tell us that this is a right angle. And this section right over here is 0 0.8. So this is 0 0.8. This is going to be, let me make it clear. So this section right over here, just if we don't count the joint, is 0. 0 0.8, but then we have, of course, this, we have this 0 0.05 centimeters. So in combination, so plus 0 0.05, you get this whole length right over here. Actually, I don't want to clutter it. This whole length to the tip right over there, this whole thing is 0 0.85 centimeters. 
Now, how do we figure out the coordinate of this thing? And I encourage you to pause the video at any time to try to figure out this. And, and, and really just to, to save us work, let's see if we can just focus on the x coordinate. I'm just going to try to come up with an expression for it. I don't feel like using my, my calculator just now. So the first thing is let's try to figure out an x coordinate. Let's try to figure out the x coordinate for that point right over there. So where does that point intersect, intersect the x axis? So essentially, what is, what is this distance right over here? What is this distance right over here? Well, it's going to be 2.45 minus 2.45 whatever this distance is. Whatever this distance is. And we should be able to use this distance given the fact that this is a 45 degree angle. Given the fact that this is a 45 degree angle, and we know this length right over here, and this is a right triangle, we could use a little bit of trigonometry. We know that the cosine, so this relative to this angle, this is the hypotenuse, and this side is adjacent. So we know that the cosine of 45 degrees is equal to the length of the adjacent side. So let's say that that's what we're trying to figure out. Let's just say that's going to be a for adjacent. And let me do this in a color that I haven't used yet. So it's going to be equal to the length of that side, a, over the length of the hypotenuse over adjacent over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse, we already figured out, is 1.7 centimeters. 1.7 centimeters. Or we could say that a, or we could say that a is equal to 1.7, 1.7 times the cosine of 45 degrees. Times the cosine of 45 degrees. That's this length. So if you wanted this x coordinate right over here, that x coordinate is going to be this x coordinate, which is 2.45 minus a. So minus, minus 1.7 times the cosine of 45 degrees. And we don't know what the y coordinate is. We haven't, we haven't figured that out. We haven't figured that out yet, but the question doesn't ask us to. But let's see if we can just going with the x coordinates, if we can get all the way to this x coordinate right over here. Well, this x coordinate is that x coordinate right over there. And so let's see, if we could figure out this length, we could subtract that length from this x coordinate and get to this x coordinate. And how could we figure out that length? Well, that length's going to be the same thing as this length down here. And this is a, a completely a horizontal, this is a horizontal line. So this is going to be parallel to that line over there. If you view if you view this as a transversal of two parallel lines, if this angle is 45 degrees, I'm running out of colors here, if this angle is 45 degrees, then this angle is also going to be 45 degrees. If this is a right angle, which it is, so that's a 90, so then this is going to have to be 45 as well. Because 45 plus 90 plus 45 are going to be 180 degrees. We've gone completely around. We're forming a completely straight line. So this is a 45 degree angle. This is a 45 degree angle. So given this is a 45 degree angle, how do we figure out how do we figure out how do we figure out this length right over here? Well, once again, the cosine of 45 degrees is going to be equal to the length of the adjacent side, which is what we want to figure out. We don't want to, I know this thing's getting messy. We want to figure out this length right over here. It's going to be equal, let's call that length x. It's going to be equal to x over the length of the hypotenuse. That's what this 0.85 is. So that 0.85, that is the hypotenuse right over there. Now my apologies for this messiness. 0.85, or we get x, we get x is equal to 0.85, 0.85 times the cosine of 45 degrees. Times the cosine, cosine of 45 degrees. So that's this length, this length right over here. So if we want this x coordinate right over here, we just subtract this distance from this distance. So the x coordinate, that's what the whole problem's going to be about. The x coordinate is going to be, let me just write in one color, 2.45 minus 1.7 times the cosine of 45 degrees minus this, minus 0.85 times the cosine of 45 degrees. And so this is going to be equal to we deserve a drum roll. This is going to be equal to 2.45 minus, what is this, 2.55 times the cosine of 45 degrees. That's going to be the x coordinate. And we don't know what the y coordinate is, but all they asked us for is the x coordinate.